Today I'm going to debunk three misconceptions about sleep. So grab a cozy blanket and get ready to unlock the truth about sleep. 30 to 48% of adults report sleep issues and trouble with sleeping. Misconception number one, it doesn't matter when you sleep as long as you sleep enough. The truth is, you need to be consistent with your sleep schedule. A lot of people schedule when they're gonna wake up, but a lot of people don't schedule when they're gonna go to sleep. And sleeping on time at a specific schedule is related to getting your circadian rhythm back into flow. So what's a circadian rhythm? You've probably heard me talk about it in other videos. It's your biological clock, your body's internal clock. It repeats every 24 hours and it signals the body on what it needs at any given time, whether that's sleep, whether that's waking up, whether that's eating. So long before mankind had an Apple Watch, human beings were programmed with their own internal clock. Research findings of Professor Russell Foster, a sleep expert at Oxford University, says that eye cells detect light rather than images that detecting light informs the brain of the time of day it is. And generally, an individual's natural circadian rhythm aligns with the dark and the light cycles to be awake in the daylight and asleep at night. That's why when people say I'm a morning person or I'm a night owl or any one of those things, all human beings basically have the same circadian rhythm. It's probably because of habit or environment sometimes where people call themselves a night owl or this or that and other things. Look, the conclusion is, based on research findings, the timing of sleep is important and disregarding your natural God-given circadian rhythm can harm you mentally or physical. That's why a lot of shift workers that work graveyard for years have health issues. And mind you, I'm gonna get some especially some of you younger that want to party all night, that's your business. But if you do it long enough and you go into your 40s and 50s, you're gonna have health issues over it. Misconception number two is that assuming that eight hours of sleep is ideal for everyone. The truth is sleep needs vary from person to person. Not everyone needs eight hours. Some people might need more or less. Healthy sleep could range anywhere from six to eight hours, but eight is optimal in a lot of studies. And older folks might need as little as six hours while infants and teenagers and young adults require anywhere from eight to 11 hours. Knowing that I have nearly a house full of women, the amount of sleep my teenagers get, my daughters, is sometimes through the roof. And I understand because they need more sleep just to be able to go through their growth cycles. Stress levels, physical activity, med medical conditions can also impact your sleep, individual sleep requirements. The key indicators for adequate sleep is waking up naturally with no alarm at all. I don't use one. You have no caffeine urge at waking. You're, you have stable behavior throughout. You don't get cranky. So in conclusion, focus on sleep quality and not just duration. While duration is important, quality goes a long way. Misconception number three is taking naps at different times throughout the day completes your sleep cycle and boost productivity. While napping might have some benefits sometimes, you can't really make up for lost sleep. Oh, I only got six hours, I need two more hours of nap time. It's not the same. There is insufficient evidence to suggest that it actually improves productivity. So if you're gonna sleep, you might as well get it in that time block moment just for sleep and get your whole amount of sleep. Catching up sleep, like I'm gonna catch up on the weekends doesn't work either. Polyphasic or monophasic concept. The truth is that napping during the day doesn't make up for lost sleep at night. And there's insufficient evidence to suggest that it actually improves productivity. So a napping might be okay to restore your energy levels. So trying to make up sleep from the night previously by napping in the daytime. Now we're gonna break this 
sleep cycles into polyphasic and monophasic. And I'm gonna explain what the two are. Polyphasic, meaning multiple phases of sleep. Your sleep schedule gets broken down into two or more sessions. This means you're taking naps during the day and reducing your sleep time at night. And some people do this because of work patterns or whatnot. Anywhere between four to six hours per session. While monophasic, you got it, mono meaning one phase. You got all your sleep in one uninterrupted sleep period, usually over one night. Monophasic is considered to be, well, the standard in most societies. It's your standard sleep cycle used by commonly the most amount of people. And it's often recommended for maintaining a consistent circadian rhythm. So let's go into what research says about polyphasic sleep. It reduces overall productivity. It decreases your creativity during your waking hours. And according to Professor Russell Foster, he favors, ta-da, monophasic sleep and warns against polyphasic sleep as it affects your mental and your physical health as well as your productivity. So the key takeaways are getting a good night's sleep isn't as simple as sleeping for eight hours and having a nightcap. Learning the truth about sleep can help you sleep better and feel more refreshed in the morning. There's a whole lot of things you gotta do in order to get the best sleep possible. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more wellness related content like this that will make you healthier, wealthier, and wise. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. You can also connect with me on social media for more content. Your support is greatly appreciated. Until next time, take care.